Hey there, uh, Dimitri from Total Physical Therapy, total-pt.com. Uh, we're going to start today, uh, it's going to be a series here, but we're going to initiate talking about the uh, what I call the secret muscle, and that is the uh, glute medius, which is a muscle that's underneath the glute max. So you take the butt cheek off, and you have a muscle that looks like an upside down slice of pizza that starts here on the pelvic crest and comes down and attaches along the superior and posterior greater trochanter. That muscle's job is not to create movement per se. It does, but it's a minor movement. So the whole concept is people think of how do the glutes work, all right? The glutes work to get you up from a seated position or to lower you. And more importantly, they also work at hip extension, which is this movement, and that allows you to propel yourself forward. But what we've talked about from previous uh, videos is you can't have mobility without stability. So that's where the glute medius comes in. You take the butt cheek muscle off, which is the one that primarily pro propels you forward, you need a stability muscle, and that muscle is the glute medius. Again, it's a fan-shaped muscle from the pelvic crest, goes down into the greater trochanter, and its main job is to stabilize that hip when the heel touches the ground. So if I take a, if I step back and I take a step, boom, as soon as that heel touches the ground, that muscle is responsible for my hip staying in line instead of popping out. So if that glute medius contracts, it's going to hold me in. And take a look at what happens to my knee when the glute medius holds. I step, if it's improper, it deviates. And there goes that knee. And if you look back at my previous videos, we, there's all sorts of trouble that occurs when the knee caves in. If this muscle is strong and doing its job, it will squeeze and the knee will naturally pop out and stay in line with that foot. So that muscle is responsible for stability of that hip joint when the heel touches the ground. Easy way to isolate that, stand on your leg with the knee locked. And then what you do is you sag that hip and hang on it. And when you squeeze that hip to get yourself back up, that's the muscle that's working. It's not the glute max that pushes you, it's the glute medius, side view, you don't, you don't really see it, when it contracts, it lifts you up. So when you're here, you go down, that eccentrically unloads it, and then you contract that glute medius to hold you up. And when you take that step, boom. That is what has to stabilize that hip. And if you look at lacrosse and tennis, and you name the sport, the, what we look for as clinicians is when you place that foot down, what's the position of the foot, what's the position of the knee, what, as it relates to that hip. And if you take that step and the glute medius is weak, it collapses the hip outward, and then everything else goes to pot. All right, so little simple test that you guys can do on your own. Stand with a locked knee, sag and let the hip drop, and then pick yourself up by squeezing that butt cheek, and you'll know that you're utilizing that glute medius, all right? In the coming videos, we're gonna talk about the impact of that muscle as it relates to stability, balance, the knee, the ankle, uh, and dynamic movements, all right? So that's that muscle, and again, it's, you can Google glute medius, and it'll come up. Again, fan-shaped muscle from the pelvis into the greater trochanter, all right? Stabilizes that hip joint. Lots of things that it is involved in. Primarily, also, it is correlated to knee pain and back pain, chronic knee pain and back pain. So the studies show that people who have trigger points or knots in that muscle, they will have knee pain and or back pain. And if they do have those issues and they don't have any complaints of the hip, chances are those trigger points are active. All right, so the correlation is one to one. So try this out, know where it is. Next time we'll talk about how it relates to other conditions. All right, have a good weekend. We'll see you next time.